Hey baby dolls, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, clearly we're creating this simple springy look for you guys. I only use two eyeshadow shades, so it's hella fast, um, hella cute. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then keep on watching. Alright, so we are starting with the Milk Hydro Grip primer literally the only primer i have been using and grabbing is this primer um i think this is like my third bottle actually so now another product that i the only product that i grab for my next can't stop won't stop foundation um if you watch my channel you watch my videos and you know ever since i bought this foundation she has been the only thing that i've been using she is hella bomb hella full coverage since my skin has been doing so well, I've only been using two pumps. So happy with that. Moving on to concealer. So these concealers here are new to my routine. I am using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I absolutely love these concealers. So I'm using two different shades. So first I use shade 100W. That's a medium shade. And then I blend that out. And then on top to add my um, like highlight to give my 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 makeup that oomph look like that snatched look, I use shade medium 90W. These concealers are so creamy, pigmented. It's so hydrating. Um, I do not get creasage under my eye like none of the none that are like out of the norm because of course you're gonna get creasage but i actually feel like i don't get creasage with these to be honest um but like i said it's just so creamy you can let it sit on your face and i feel like if you let it sit on your face for a while it's still so easy to blend i know when you do that with certain concealers it's actually super hard to blend but with this i do not have that problem but yeah let me get off of this the color pop dick and these concealers but these concealers are just so good. If you have not tried it, go to your local Ulta drugstore if they um, cover, cover, carry ColourPop and try it out. Trust me, you'll love it. It's only $9. You will love it. Also, I do just want to make a disclaimer that I know I'm not in focus right here. Your girl has been having some trouble with her equipment lately, but we're trying to get it together. So now I'm just going to set my um, concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. That's another OD. Nothing new here. Now we are going to contour the face. So I'm using my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker in the shade Coco Naughty. Literally love this bronzer. It just snatches my face. It is the perfect warmth for my skin tone. I love it. It blends so effortlessly. I don't know why I broke that word down like that, but I did. Um, also, by the way, I'm watching Love is Blind on Netflix while I'm actually filming this tutorial for you guys. So that's why I'm making all these faces because I'm so obsessed with this show. Please, season two, sign me up. I want to find my husband because this is like the cutest show I've ever seen on TV. If you have not seen Love is Blind, you need to go on Netflix and start to watch it now. You'll thank me later. Especially if you're a hopeless romantic. Now we're going to move on to bronzer. So after I contour, I bronze and I use the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. And mine is in the shade 4 Deep. Love, love, love this bronzer. First of all, the pan is hella huge. I've had mine for probably a year now. Don't know if that's sanitary. But it's hella big, so why not, you know? But I love the warmth in this as well, and it just, like, it matches me. Like, look at how that contour goes from the bronzer to the bottom of my, like, my shoulders and my chest. Look at how perfect I blend. Now moving on, I'm just going to carve out my cheeks, carve out my nose with my translucent powder. I always do this step. Once again, we are snatching the face here. This is how you get your face to be snatched, okay? Snatched. Moving on to the eyes. So we are using the Ambrizi palette. Love this palette. To me, anything Anastasia puts their hands on is 
amazing. So we're going to start off with the shade New Yorker. Um, it's like a nice brown, how like a brown caramelish shade. It kind of gives me caramel frappuccino vibes from Starbucks. This is just like, when I think of this shade, that's what I think of. Now I want one, so thanks guys. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put that into my crease, fluff it out. Now I'm going to take the shade Reezy, this gorgeous, gorgeous pink shade. So at first I use a brush, but then I'm like, you know what, let me just dip my finger in there. Pause for a second. Y'all don't come for me and my nails. Yes, I know I have to get my nails done, but I'm trying to hold off and wait until my nail appointment next week. So yeah, like I said, don't come for me. Just know that my nail appointment is scheduled and I'm going to go soon. So in the meantime, we're just going to deal with this finger. So I'm going to dip that finger into Reezy and then put that all over my lid. After I do that and I get it to the pigmentation that I like, which this shade is so creamy and buttery. Look at how intense it is on my lid. Do you see the difference from me using my finger to me using the brush? With shades like this, you want to use your finger to get the highest pigmentation there is. So once I get it to the shade buildup that I like, I then go back in with the brush and I just blend out those creases, like the corners of the eyeshadow, and I blend that up into my crease so it blends with New Yorker. And you just have that nice transition. To me, this is like the perfect springtime look. You have that nice pop of pink with that nice caramel brown in the crease. I would wear this every single day of my life. So now we're going to go ahead and go in with my favorite liquid eyeliner. It is the NYX. Wow, it's my favorite eyeliner and I don't know the name of it. Hmm, must not be my favorite, I guess. Oh, it's called the NYX Epic Ink Liner and mine's is in the shade black. This liner, bro, let me tell you about this eyeliner. This eyeliner does not dry out. Once it dries on the lid, it's bomb, but the actual case itself, it does not dry out. Okay, so now we're going back to the face. We are just going to blend out all of that translucent powder that we left sitting on our face while we were doing our eyes. So I'm just taking this tapered brush to brush away all of that extra powder. Moving on to setting the entire face, I'm going to take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Matte Tan 35. Love this powder. It just gives you like a flawless, flawless? a flawless light smooth airbrush finish and it's just so pretty and I do believe it's super cheap too at Sephora so if you haven't tried that definitely go get your hands on that as well now to bring the face back to life I'm using the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I love this one because I it, feel, it just makes my skin feel super hydrated to me there's a big difference between this one and the rose water one and I definitely prefer the green tea version now we are highlighting the face, the favorite part of my makeup routine. Since we're using the Amrezy palette, I was like, we have to use the Amrezy highlighter. Look at this highlighter. It is so perfect for the springtime. It just gives you that light, white, golden highlighted effect. <laughs> Once again, I'm still watching Love is Blind, and this show is just so freaking cute. I swear, like, love is real. Love is real and the show is a true, this show made me a true believer. At first I was having some doubts because I've been in a lot of like situations lately, but I am a true believer in love and I know it's going to happen soon. But yeah, like I said, if you have not seen the show, y'all need to go check it out. Now I'm just going to finish off my eyes. I am, oh no, not my eyes, my face. I like to keep my looks all in one palette, so I'm going to make a blush out of Semsa, and I'm just going to use Semsa on my cheeks to pull the entire monochromatic pink look together, and it's just going to give me the perfect blushed cheeks, if, if you can't tell. When you are doing this, make sure you tap off the extra eyeshadow because the eyeshadows are hella pigmented. Another must for me in my makeup routine is setting my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter. This just secures the bag, okay? Just make sure you do this step. Don't skip it. 
Now we're going to finish out the eyes one last time, taking New Yorker, and I'm just going to smoke out my bottom lash line. That's all we're doing down there, nothing too crazy. Moving on to lips, I'm going to take NYX Suede Lip Liner in the shade Club Hopper. Then I'm going to go in with Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Hot Chocolate. It's one of those new shades. Adore this lip combo, by the way. But other than that, this is the entire look. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you all in my next makeup routine. Love you.